Welcome! I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, and The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. Today, it's the end of July, no, it's the end of August. Closing in on September here. So we're going to do a monthly book haul video. I've got my books over here that I have bought this month. Like I said, in my July book haul, I buy between 5 and 20 books a month. Last month in July, I bought 20 books. I showed them to you back in the end of July. In August here, I've got 18 books that I bought. Some of them I've already read. Most of them I have not. So let's go through it, should we? Let's see what books I purchased for myself in August of 2020. By the way, 2020, it will go down as probably one of the worst years that I've ever been alive. 2020 has sucked. But I still buy books. And I want to show you what books I buy. I think it's important for you all to know if you're following me because you've read my novels or you want to see kind of what kind of things a writer himself buys on a monthly basis. This is a good place for you to be right now. Well, so let's take a look. Let's, let's pull up. I don't know what order they're in. I just know that um, this one is The Deed of Paxanarian by Elizabeth Moon. It's a combination of her Sheep Farmer's Daughter Trilogy, all in one, published by Bain Books. I, uh, I remember reading the Sheep Farmer's Daughter book one in the trilogy back when I was a kid. I don't remember anything about it. I thought I saw this on eBay <coughs> for pretty cheap. So I went ahead and ordered it thinking, hey, uh, give it, let's give it another go. So if you're out there and you've read this, all of the books in the trilogy in the comments below let me know if you think it's any good i do remember kind of liking the sheep farmer's daughter i just don't remember jack squat what else did i buy oh yes villette by charlotte bronte is it jane Eyre? was jane Eyre the other book that she wrote one of my favorite classics was jane Eyre. i really liked that so I thought I would get one of her other books, Villette. I don't know anything about it. I'll probably give it a shot. I'll probably read it. We'll see. I read classics once in a while. I thought Jane Eyre was pretty good by Charlotte Bronte. God, I hope that's the book that she wrote. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe it was one of the other Brontes. Maybe it was Jane Austen that wrote Jane Eyre. I don't know. I just know that I'm in the ballpark somewhere. What else? Oh, yes, A Private Cathedral. James Lee Burke. I've been following his Dave Robichaux mysteries. He's got like 23 of them in the series now. I just bought this one and read it. I reviewed it for my channel earlier this month. This was one of the early, I think I bought this at the beginning of August. And re I've already reviewed this on the channel. So you can find that review if you'd like. Dave Robichaux, Louisiana Murder Mysteries. And they're pretty damn good. I bought... Oh, the Tony Hillerman biography. Now, Tony Hillerman, if you don't know who he is, he wrote all the Lephorn and Chi. He wrote the Lephorn and Chi mystery series. It's a mystery series of, of novels set in the Navajo Nation down in Arizona. There's, I think there's maybe about 20 of those. In the, he's since passed on. But I thought, I love the I love this little mystery series set in the Navajo Nation. So if you ever want to get like the Skinwalkers or... The Skinwalkers is a good place to start. It's probably his most famous mystery novel. And it is about those two Navajo police officers down on the Navajo reservation that they... Uh, they I mean, it's, it's, it's self-explanatory. They solve murder mysteries down on the Navajo River reservation, right? And... Uh, Tony Hillerman was the author of that, and I know he was a World War II veteran, and I knew he had this biography out, so I thought I'd buy it. I have not read it yet, so we will get to this bio at some point. Uh, let's see, what have we got? The Book of Dust. Well, let's talk about both of these. The Book of Dust, and what's the other one? The Secret Commonwealth by Philip Pullman. Now, I did read the Golden Compass trilogy, 
I thought those were pretty good. This is his follow-up trilogy. I have not read either one of these. Again, people, please, if you've read these and you think they're cool, I did really like the Golden Compass trilogy. I hated the movie. I have not watched the um, miniseries. I don't know what that miniseries is called. Um, the Amber Spyglass. I don't even know. I don't know. All I know is I read the first trilogy a long time ago. I thought I would uh, catch up on his sequels here. Haven't read them yet, though, but we'll get to them. Let me know what you think of these if you've got them. What else did I buy? Oh, yes. I saw these on eBay, too. The Eight and Cleves. So if you know, if you watched my review of Raven Black by Anne Cleves, it's the first book in this Shetland, I keep saying Shetland, it's Shetland, Scotland, a mystery series with a investigator Perez who murders happen in Shetland, Scotland, and Anne Cleves has written this mystery series, eight books long. I read Raven Black, I thought it was great, I thought it was awesome, and I will get to the others eventually, I will read through the whole series. I did review Raven Black on my um, channel, but you know this is these are the books. Well, uh, if I can if I can juggle them, we'll see if I can juggle them. And I don't know if this is gonna work out. Um, yeah, Raven Black, the first one. Um, White Knights, the second one. Uh, Red Bones, the third one. Uh, Blue Lightning, you know they've all got a color theme so far. And then we jump to Wildfire, Elements, an Elements theme, Wildfire, uh, Cold Earth, Earth is an element, right? Uh, thin Air, yeah, that's an element. Deep Water or Dead Water. I'll get to, I, the only one I've read so far is the um, Raven Black, and you can see my review for that on um, my channel somewhere. Oh, and more English, more little British murder mysteries. Peter Rob, let's get these three. So Peter Robertson, Robertson, I bought these three novels. They're the Inspector Banks series. This is the Inspector Banks series. 27 books. I had 24 of them, and I had not, I just, I'd, for some reason, I had just over the, he puts them out once a year. The last three years, for some reason, I just got behind on buying them. So I bought the last three of them, and I know there's one coming out in January that I'm going to get. So I did buy these three uh, Inspector Banks novels. I have the entire series upstairs, the other 24 books. I did read these. I've read them. I bought them in August. I have read all three of them. I might do soon a DCI, uh, an Inspector Banks, uh, just an overall, I might just review all of the books kind of as a whole because there's 27 of them now. Um, so I might just bring them all downstairs here one day and review the whole shebang at once. Like, hey, read the Inspector Banks series. They're set in York, England. I love British mysteries. What have we got? Oh, the last book I bought was this collector's edition of Anna Karenina. I did my review of War and Peace. Tolstoy is one of my favorite classic novelists. I have read Anna Karenina. I'd like to reread it one of these days and put up a review. I do, um, I, I saw this um, collector's edition and I bought it. The only thing I'm disappointed in is the paper they printed it on is almost pure white. You know, publishers, when you print books, the paper's got to be a little tan. It can't be, if you make it pure white, it, it feels like you're reading a computer manual, honestly. So I won't even be reading this, but it will look nice. And we'll put it there right now. It will look nice here on my shelf, right next to War and Peace. There we go. Let me just put it right there next to War and Peace. Anna Karenina, War and Peace. And I'll probably never crack it open because I've got a, a I've got a paperback over here. Yeah, I got this paperback. I got this. If I reread it, I would reread this paperback just because 
that is, like I said, the paper. It looks like a computer manual. Anyway, whatever. So those are the books that I've read or bought. That's my book haul, my August 2020 book haul. We will be doing a September book haul probably at the end of September. Logic would say. 